In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how you can add a logo to your Salesforce CPQ template. In this template right now, we have the name of our company, but we do not have a logo yet. In order to get that logo to show up in the upper corner, we are going to need to populate a logo document ID much in the same way that we would populate a watermark ID as we did in our previous video. So let's go over to documents. We'll give our document a name and make sure this is externally available. We will choose the file we'd like to upload and then click save. When we save this, our document should show up where we will be able to include it. Now this document is really large, this image. So this image might take up a big chunk of our template and then we might need to shrink the image so that we can get the behavior that we really are looking for. But let's go ahead and copy the ID at the top of the screen and then key that in over here for our logo ID. And when we do, the system is smart enough to know logo document ID, that is the same as the um, API name that lives in our section one template top. So our template section here has this content for template top. And if we look really, really, really close, we have this company logo merge field showing up right here. This company logo is what's going to pull in that image that we just pulled onto the screen. Um, and now when we go over here to our template, if I close out of here and I preview, we should have our logo showing up because that merge field knows to pull it in using the ID that we linked in our template from the document that we uploaded. Okay, we have a very, very large image here and that's not exactly what we were going for. So let's go ahead and go back to our document and we will replace the document with a smaller image. I've selected a smaller file of the same logo image, and now I'm going to click on replace document. Now, replacing the document is the best way to do this because it does not change the ID of the image. So now I can just go straight to my quote and I can click preview again and I don't need to make any other updates because I replaced the image. Here we go, we have our logo much smaller up here and that looks perfect. I hope this tutorial has been helpful in explaining how including your logo works with Salesforce CPQ templates. Just to recap, we first need to make a document, then we need to copy the document ID, making sure that it's externally available. Include that document ID into your template under the logo, and make sure that your template itself has this merge field to pull in that company logo then you should have this displayed on your template and also a reminder to make sure that your image is the right size for your template prior to uploading it. Thank you so much. If this has been helpful, please like and subscribe. And if you'd like to work with us or learn more about templates, please contact us on our website. Thank you.